Welcome to every shot from an 18 handicappers round. Fourth week in a row of a driver change. Par four, dog leg to the left. I kind of forgot what I was doing yesterday actually. Uh, maybe a, maybe a little too right, but that'll do. That'll do. All right, okay, so in 100 to the middle, I'm just gonna go with 52. No, 100 to the front edge, sorry. On the green, off to the right. Green and red to start us off though. Cannot complain. All right, I just replaced my first divot of the day. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it one day, mate. Okay, a little bit right to left, I reckon. Slightly uphill. That is pacey. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can kick things off for a par. Should be pretty straight, I think. Go left edge just to be safe. Past start, there we go. Take me home. <laughs> Joy Redwood, uh, you come onto the second hole with a 210 meter par three. Pin at the back. Four iron or hybrid. I've been hitting the hybrid so well at the range. The four iron I hit quite well last night. Playing a fade is the idea here. No! Needless to say, that didn't happen. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. At the range, <laughs> yeah, at the range. Yeah. At the range, there was no penalties. Yeah, true. Right, I'm just going to hit a provisional just in case I can't find that one, but I'm hopeful that we'll find it and swap into the four iron. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, cart path. I don't know. The provisional is probably lost. <laughs> okay, it's a nice easy find. So I'm just going to punch it down in to the left of these trees. As long as I don't hit the tree. Ah, oh, too much. Yeah, unfortunately, it just went a little too high and clipped, clipped the trees. Okay, I've ended up leaving myself with the same shot, unfortunately. Uh, okay, the pin's just there at the back. So I'm just going to go over a little eight iron. It's not going to need too much, though, just a, just a little one like that. Slow up. On the green... Not too bad from there. Not too bad at all. On the green, if we can rescue a double here, I will take that. Hitting the tree twice on a par three is not ideal. It's gonna go quite a bit left to right, I think. Ah, more, loads more. Oh, look at that, as calm as you like. So just like that, you'll be sweet. There we go. In for double, which isn't too bad with the two tree collisions. Okay, uh, par five, it's a dog leg to the right. Uh, Alex just hit the tree up there and came left, so they're safe, to, safe to miss right, really. Get over it. Uh, hopefully it rolls down at some point. So yeah, that's the good thing about the dry courses, is it rolls back down to the fairway. Uh, well, nearly, just in the rough here. Mm, got a seven iron, maybe I can get over that. <laughs> I've played like the best accidental stinger. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend that I meant to do that one. Okay, showing 136. Uh, so I'm gonna just come short with the pitching wedge, because I can't remember where the flag is. And you don't want to go long. Oh, go on. That could be pretty good. Yeah, couldn't have hit that much purer. Hoping it went over the tree and didn't fall through it. But we're about to find out. 
Ah, uh, pins all the way to the right. There's nowhere near where I thought it was, so that's not ideal. Alex's ball's there. I actually thought the, uh, the flag was way off to the other side. I think we have to take our first drop, unfortunately. It's probably just gone out here is our best assumption, which is very unfortunate. I'll just go from the line of the tree which it went over, so around here, and I'll drop it there. A little 60 degree. Oh, it's actually quite a chunky bit of grass here. Oh, we'll take that. We'll take that. Just thought I'd check at the back, just in case, but there's no way I hit a pitch and wedge that far. Come on, if I can save this with a one putt, that'd be great. Oh, I didn't come in. Ooh. Problems, <laughs> Too much guns. Too much breakfast he's had. <laughs> Did you miss that part on the way back? No, I got it. I just oh. got the full three six. Too much breakfast he's had. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty pretty good here. Like again, aim off to the you can aim off to the left and it will roll down. Yeah, no. uh, right's a pretty bad miss. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell. Yeah. All those trees, the down here. Okay. Driver again, par four. Oh yes! Down the middle. Ah. Oh. There we go. It's, it's only taken four weeks of constant driver changes. Finally hit a drive down the middle. Feels good to actually show you that I can hit one down the middle rather than just constantly say that at the range it goes better than the course. Right, I put myself in the best position here. A uh, bit of wind with us. So I'm just gonna go 52 and hopefully go a little bit to the left of the green to be safe. That's a bit too left. Distance should be all good. Damn it. So we put ourselves in very similar spots here, me and Alex. I'll just stamp his into the ground. <laughs> right, it's going uh, left to right. Maybe just land it just on the green as the goal here. It's further than I wanted to carry it, but... Yeah, if that was a little shorter, might have been all right. Alex has just completely outdone me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do it. That's the good thing when you're a lefty, you don't stand on my line there. Nice, well done. Oh, I thought that was more uphill. Not giving myself the easiest of putts on the way back, that's for certain. There we go. Easy two putt for bogey, but made it a little bit nervy, especially after that drive. 147, 132 to the front. Oh, okay. uh, I'm gonna go with the nine iron, I think, here. Uh, you're playing the wrong team, mate. Just teeing up on the yellows midway through. No wonder he's scoring so well. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of the, um, you did the practice swings and then you chunked like one practice swing. You're like, right, now it's time to hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like chunked a good couple inches behind it and you're like, you know what? I'm oh, ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay, going nine iron at this one. Off to the right. Wow, it's gone at the right of the back. Good connection. Another divot cam. Great distance. 
So just off to the right. Hopefully we can get close with the putter here. All right, just over that mound should then break down to the right. Ah, I actually started going left at the end, so yeah. There we go. Nice tapping for Alex as well. Oh, he started walking in. Yeah, you can have that. Oh, <laughs> wow, it's uh, it's very hot and humid. Um, but yeah, another par. On to another par five now. I think it's fairly longish par five. Don't want to miss off to the left. A little low, but it's down the middle. That's all that matters today. Yeah, sorry. Just uh, don't break it. That's my lucky tee. <laughs> uh, carbon fiber hybrid with some wood chippings. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, sit, 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 sit. We'll find it, we'll find it. All right, I'm gonna try the hybrid because, you know, like I said, I have been hitting it well at the range. All right, I'm gonna open my stance up a little bit and let's see if it works again. Oh no, why am I doing that now? Damn it, oh that's uh. That's OB, I might have to take one here, mate. Damn it, so, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. So, my fourth shot. And that one faded up into that tree. Can you see that down or no? Ah! <laughs> Damn it, those hybrids are coming off so straight on the range. And probably should have just played up for like a nice seven iron. But, uh, yeah, went aggressive, didn't pay off. All right, and that's why you should always play smart golf. <laughs> now I've got a horrible lie. Can't go at the pin because of the trees. Uh, so just gonna try and do a little nine iron through there. That was terrible. <laughs> Didn't give myself an awful lot of chance there. But um, yeah, nice sunny day still. Uh, hopefully the tree isn't in the way and I can at least get over it. Um, and let's get back to some pretty safe golf. I think the hybrid will be uh, put away for the rest of the round. <laughs> Unless I need to hook it off to the left. Uh, oh! <laughs> I, I've actually got that recorded if that, if that comes in. Yeah, fuck it. that was outrageous. Uh, I just gotta hope I don't hit into this tree. I don't think I should, but. Oh, what is that? That is horrible. Found a little wooden plank. Ah, oh, pushed off to the right. Hit the tree and bounce left. Yes! Literally did that. Going with a 60 degree here. I don't know this play. Oh! Carried it a little too far. All right, okay, let's, if we can one putt here and then just uh, forget about this hole altogether and, and move on. Should come in. Did at the end, but, oh, oh, look at that. All good, mate. Right, a two putt, so not too bad, could have been worse. Yep, so those uh, hybrid shots were very costly in the end. But, um, you know, let's uh, make up for it on this next hole. Just to the right of that tree is the perfect goal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, driver back in hand, par four. Just playing to the right of that tree is the target. Oh, it's a low hooky one. Just to the left of that tree is what I said, right? Is that the tree you know? Um. Yeah, I meant to go to the right of the other one, so no. Gotcha, okay. <laughs> right, come off to the left here. So we've got to go over these trees. But that should be fine. Should be fine. Let me go with 52.
should be a good line. Heard a bounce just on the edge of the green. I think we'll take it. Another feature for divot cam. All right, replace the divot. Unfortunately, it's just gone just off the green, so it can't count it as a green and reg. Uh, uphill to the right, though. Oh, come on, come in, come in, come in. Oh, it's the right edge then. Did I just read that one wrong or? <laughs> yeah, tidy bogey. All right, last minute change to the eight iron. Want to avoid that bunker. Uh, anything to the right is kind of okay, I think. Oh, wind with us. Hmm. Oh, I fended it into the bunker. Nah. Nah, I took, I took a lot off it with the wind. Also, uh, I actually did what you did. You know, when I said like, oh, when you chunk the ground, you shouldn't really go for it. Yeah. Chunked it and then just uh, went for it. <laughs> that is a bunker you want to avoid at all costs. <laughs> and I have to go over it. Okay, nice 60 degree. Should be able to get under it quite nicely. There we go. Nicely executed. Never in doubt. Right, so I'm just going to go slightly off to the right. <sighs> Too much. They're not going as, when I think they're going, they're not going as much. Not getting the reeds. There you go. Nicely done. Nine down. Yeah. Is that nine down, is it? The ninth hole at the halfway mark. Uh, pretty good golf from both of us, actually. Good times. Yeah, good times. Uh, nice pace. Nice weather. The only thing is we have made a couple of OBs. Alex got a very unlucky one. Um, well, one was unlucky and then the rest we can just deem whatever. Oh, it's actually a par five. Big dog leg to the left. So what's the flag? Straight? Yeah, that little tree to the... I don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be 100% honest here? Oh. 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 I didn't see that. I Is it coming around? I can get that. Okay. I'm really unhappy about it, but I can get it. There you go, that's all there. Oh. Did you go on the fair way over there? Oh, is that... You'll see a fence uh, further around. There's a controversial line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not gone very far. Oh. It's fine. Yeah? Yeah, fine. But again, just classic Jack Plays Golf tee shots. Just when you think you've got it. So what was a nasty slicey fade? Or push fade? No, push slice has now turned into a short little hook. Oh, let's see, did I get lucky enough? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Alex is all the way over there. Hello! There's a par five, so I'm gonna try and just go out to the right of that tree with the eight iron. That's very nice, get a good bounce. We'll take that. Back in the middle, I can see Alex walking further up the left. Don't know if he's being polite or if he's genuinely still up there on the right-hand side. But uh, we're each playing our own game. Let me know if you'd like to see a couple of holes from uh, Alex's perspective at some point. Uh, obviously, he's a little bit newer to golf than myself. Um, got a hell of a drive on him when he hits it. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Maybe we can show some of Alex's, pers yeah. show some of Alex's perspective. <laughs> yep, he is up there. Oh, he's having a bit of a meltdown. <laughs> a little 52. That's gorgeous. Oh, I did it, boy. 
And there we go. On the green. <laughs> Another divot cam. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Alex, as you saw him uh, taking a little venture over there, what we didn't see was his ridiculous chip from, well, what, 90 meters? And then he puts it to pretty much, what, like seven foot? Very nice. Unfortunately, we didn't record it, so. And we don't know what shot it was to get there, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> Birdie putt, is it? All right, okay, I'm going to just go pretty straight at this one, because... It's not been breaking for me. You've got to hit it though. Has it got there? Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Gets the birdie. Yes, get in for, have the legs. for a second. I didn't think it did. <laughs> well, I thought it was going to break. That's exactly where I wanted it. <laughs> well, you thought it was breaking that way. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gave you that one, didn't I? Right, so you thought it was going yeah, left. You thought it was going left to right here. I thought just a tick away. Yeah, I think I would go right to left or something. Else. Yeah, it's definitely right to left. Yeah, that way it makes it into the video. If I would missed, yeah, yeah, then cool, cool. no one would have seen it. <laughs> but all that happened in that hole was me have a terrible drive and then some good shots. Yeah. And then me just record you and your bad shots, miss your good shot, <laughs> and then record you miss the putt. Like, well, 120 to the front. Right, I'm gonna go pitch and wedge. Back myself. Yeah, pitch and wedge should be bang on the money for me here. Should, should. Yeah, 130. Yeah, one 120 to the front of the green. Oh, off to the left. Go, 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 go. I didn't hit it very good. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. I'll give you that. <laughs> it's the classic, uh, as a high handicapper, you just toast, oh, I actually quite like bunker shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're lying to yourself if you're saying that. No one likes a bunker shot. What do you reckon the odds of us both getting out of the bunker are? I think I'm holding it back, to be honest with you. Oh, you give me two or three practice swings. Uh, practice so, odds are we're going to get out there at some point. Yeah. Just whether it's first time or not, I don't know. Pretty good placement from both of us though to get yeah, so neatly in the bunker. Great little view here. <laughs> One down. Yeah, okay, let's try and right, we're trying to open the face. Proper get up and at it. Grip? I well, made sure to get out, that's the main thing. Technically, we are both out. Still on the bank, but out of the bunker. Play it smart here and putt. Does it go down to the right? Down to the left. If in doubt, go straight at it. Yeah, I think that's a smart play. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> didn't, didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your ball in there for that. <laughs> nice bit of scenic background. Actually feels like some pretty good golf still so far. Uh, managed to recover from that minor hiccup. The thing about Alex is he just doesn't perform when the camera is rolling. Because he just hit the best drive of the day out of everyone. Uh, yeah. I, I, I guess I could simulate it for you if I really wanted to. Nice! Yeah. I think mine's actually outdone you just because it's not going to be out of bounds. <laughs> so see, Alex has probably just pinched me there. But uh, I'd say I've got the better line in here. All talk! And then we found out that that's actually his ball here and my ball where I've absolutely killed him for distance. No. <laughs> okay, um, pitching wedge. One. 24 to the front of the green. I'm going to aim at that tree to the right. I agree. Uh, probably a bit long, maybe. maybe. Yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Good strike, but uh, yeah, uh, a bit too much club. <laughs> I 
Oh no, I've just done an absolute stinker. I forgot to score on my last shot. So it was showing the maximum distance from the last one, which hole 10, which is 135. Ah, uh, so let's see what the distance is now that I change it to the right hole. Ah, uh, so yeah, I was about like 100 meters, so I just hit like 125 meter shot. So I'm going to be miles long, that's so annoying. Only myself to blame and probably Alex a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're all the way down there. So yeah, uh, my bad. Right, the 8 iron just into the bank and roll it up. Or the 60 over the top. Hmm. All right, feeling good with the 60. Oh, you stupid man. That's so stupid. Oh, oh no. And it's decisions like that is why I'm a high handicap golfer. Now it's so stupid. Yeah, so it went out roughly over here. So we're just going to drop. Lovely. I love that for me. <laughs> Should have been like a birdie attempt hole. It's turned into probably trying to get a triple. It's not got up there, is it? That is so annoying. There's a hole of failed distances, this one. I'm going to stick with a 60, which probably isn't the right decision. And my bag is all the way over there. Well, it's a good shot. Is it good enough to save a one putt? Well, one putt, so we'll take that. All right. <laughs> well, we were due one of those shots to come out eventually. Just happened to follow an absolute stinker of a hole. Main thing is we found the ball. All right, just a little six iron punch out. A couple of trees up there if we get through at the grate. If we don't, then it's fine. <laughs> Came through and smacked the branch, but we got through the tree gap. I'm not gonna lie, it was not the one I was going for. All right, we're gonna go 60 degree at this one. Oh, that's miles short. What am I doing? Should have gone 52 all day. Yeah, it just took far too much off the 60 degree. So now we're going to be chipping on with the 52 and hopefully get a one putt and rescue a bogey. Okay, a little bit to the right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Always trust the 52 degree. Ooh. Same 170 the middle on my watch. And bunker to the left. I've got a seven in my hat, a seven eye in my hand, but maybe six. All right. All right, we go, go seven, stick with seven. Oh, I've absolutely pured that. That should hopefully get over it. Oh, just over. If that had, if that had the line, that was such a nice strike. Just need to be about a couple of meters to the left and that would have been absolutely perfect. But uh, I will take that. All right, a little chip with the 52 again. Oh, that's checked up a lot. A little shorter than I hoped, but it's okay. It's on the green. Oh, straight in. That's a great par. Those are the big putts that you need to go in towards the end of a round. Is it enough to redeem a good score? If you start hitting it how you're supposed to hit it, then yeah. it does, it does make a difference, yeah. yeah. It is surprising though. And it does naturally, you think like, oh, I want to hit the ball up in the air, I should. Yeah. So I, I see the, the logic, but you know. <laughs> However I'm wrong. 
Ja. Oh no. There's that hook. You just can't keep that driver consistent for more than nine holes. <laughs> oh, question is, are we going to find it in this long grass? Oh, it's not too long actually. Should be pretty optimistic. All right, luckily came out here. Just going to punch out into the middle. Just need to go further enough that I'm not obstructed by the big tree. But not too far to go into the trees on the other side too. A little pitching wedge. Should be pretty nice, I reckon. All right, we're gonna go nine iron at this one. Ah, uh, push it off to the right. All right, here we go, 52 again. Let's hopefully hit it a little bit further this time. Sit, 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 sit. Not bad. Much better than the last wedge shot. Um, so what this is hopefully one putt for bogey. It's in Alex's way, he's not happy. Oh, I didn't record it. Well, I uh, one putted it for a bogey. Alex can vouch. <laughs> so as you can tell, Alex missed his putt and then I got mine. So he's a bit, he's a bit sour. <laughs> Yeah, the 52 one putt has come in pretty clutch today so far. Maybe the third occasion where I've done that. All right, short par four. Uh, I'm going to try and hit my four iron just down the down the middle. If I can hit it like I did that provisional on the second hole, we'll be good. Well, it's a stinger. Should be up there. It's not uh, the purest of strikes, but it's not the most unpure either. Yep, four iron turned out to be the good play. We're not too far away. 60 degree at this. <laughs> good shout. Yeah, no, this is 10 meters away. Don't go in the bunker. Did it stay on? Just held on. It's gonna be an interesting uh, shot here. I think I'm gonna be in the bunker to, to play the shot. All right, yeah, definitely putt this one. <laughs> oh, it's actually, it's actually fine. Oh, that does really take a lot of speed off it, eh? Oh, I was hoping to be closer than that. Yes, in for par. Take that, playing smart with the four iron. Yeah, 155, right, seven iron. Let's hopefully get hold of it like that previous one. Oh, Stinger! Get there, get there. I mean, it's one of those where it's kind of lucky, but at the same time, it's not. It's nice to be back in the green and reg. Um, would have preferred <laughs> yeah, would have preferred to hold one, but would have preferred to hit the pure seven iron. But a fin to win. We're always up for one of those on the channel, and we certainly aren't. That is going to be the last we see of him either. Yeah, I think this is going to have quite a bit of um, bank on it. Ah, well oh! <laughs> just needed a little bit more maybe, but tapping pars. We're all about that on this channel. <laughs> well, when they happen, yeah. If I can celebrate, I'm like a fucking birdie, mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, unlucky. Water just off to the right around the driver mark, so I'm going to stick with the four iron. Bollocks. <laughs> Back to back pars. Oh no. That is a stinker. And that's just what happens in golf. Me and Alex were just saying how the round was going pretty well. 
and then we both failed to go 100 meters down the fairway. Oh dear, hopefully mine come out, but oh no, that's water. Yeah, that's not coming out. As the only other thing was I saw my score going into the last two holes and it was 76. And I was like, oh, I could, could be on for a good score here. And then cue the disaster and the meltdown. <laughs> for Ryan topped into the hazard. Unfortunate, but it happens to the worst of us. <laughs> so I think point of entry was about here. So I'm just going to go backwards and drop it there. Now I just need to move the camera back. Oh, well, at least I hit that one pretty pure down the middle. Ah, golf, man, eh? Hey? What a sport. Well, at least we've got a nice line to this pin. 123 to the middle. So I'm going to take pitching wedge. Okay, if I could pull out a good shot here, that'd be great. Oh, come left. Is it good? Yes, I thought I pushed it to the right, but Alex seems to think it's on the green, so he is closer than me, so I will take his opinion. It's like, it's like either goes in or goes long. Nice divot, divot cam once more. Oh, actually I don't have the camera, so just, just divot, divot action. Well, like arse cam. This is a nasty drop off here. Nah, I flag in, because I might need it as a backboard. Um, if I can just reach that bank, should get pretty close. Ah, oh, it's going to go off, isn't it? That was... Yeah, that was the problem. Such a bad spot to be in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As if this hole couldn't get much worse, we are now chipping up with the 60 degree here. Alright, take my time on this one. This needs to go close. <laughs> come back down, come back down. Yes, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Come back down. <laughs> I was lucky to come down a little bit, to be fair. Oh, I thought I'd like saved it from a nightmare hole. Put it on the green. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, not meant to be. So yeah, we, we tried four putts of that and all four of them went off the back. Um, so yeah, absolute nightmare hole uh, when you're 76 going onto the 17th and then you end up putting a 7 in with a 1 putt. <laughs> oh dear. Golf, eh? Going onto this last par 4, it's kind of a small dog leg to the right uphill. Oh! <laughs> it just... I thought it was going to bounce nicely, but that bounce just a up all the speed. This is the shot which I kind of did at this uh, Ambrose tournament. It was a nice, like 200 meter fade onto the, just off to the green. See if I can replicate. Oh, try it again. That has just gone long. Probably not the play there, but you know, I did it without the camera and then with the camera, drilled it straight through the tree. Uh, hopefully it went through a little bit, but that could have dropped straight down. All right, 144, just stayed in bounds. Oh, hit the tree though, damn it. Oh dear. That's like three trees in a row. It's not the end.
end you deserved, guys, but it's the end you were given. 87, so you're 52. Come on, let's get on the green to, to finish. Sit. On the green. You know, not too bad. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to hopefully finish on a massive one putt into the sunset. Couldn't have been that hole, could it? One final divot cam. And there's the putt. All right, can I keep it from rolling off is the question. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And in the hole. Oh, I've smacked it. Or have I? Nope. All right, let's finish on a nice two putt. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. We're doing another 18. <laughs>